Looks like I got everything organized just before 9 o'clock gets here. Everything is put away because I'm not going to be here today, I think. Um, my transportation should be here momentarily. But yesterday afternoon, I got the tractor and the seed drill fixed, uh, put those away. Uh, got the mower put away. Everything's put away uh, so I can go away, apparently. Uh, yeah, the weeds. Uh, the weeds are here, um, unfortunately, but uh, it is the way it is. And I did not get to seed the big field either. Uh, not seed, fertilize. I need to fertilize that field. Uh, I haven't checked this morning. been rather busy. I didn't even get down to the store to see if the concrete was going to be here. But um, maybe I can get it in the afternoon if I get back soon enough. Uh, meanwhile, now I just got to sit here and wait for my transportation. Um, it should be here momentarily, I would think. Just have to sit here and wait for it. There's that sound I'm familiar with. And there's the portal. I'm just going to treat it just like a band-aid. Get over the quick, rip right off. So jump right on through. And I'm through. I do believe. And the man, that portal always just disappears really quick. Uh, okay, this is not the same area I was in last time. Looks like I'm at a different farm. I mean, here's all the equipment. Uh, I don't see a mailbox anywhere. Um... Hello? Maybe they're at the beach? Well, if they're at the beach, I guess the surfboard might be gone. Hello? I mean, I really don't expect anyone because why would I at this point? Um, last time... They left a note in the truck. Let me go in the truck and see if I can find anything and... Uh, oh, wow. Uh, hopefully, uh, there's something in here. Well, there was a detailed letter inside the vehicle with a map and explaining what I need to do today. I don't have to go too far because the horse pen, I guess, is just over that hill. Um, but yeah, apparently some of the oats that we harvested last week uh, were delivered here. So he's got plenty of oats here. I guess I'll take this tractor first, although I probably will need... I'm seeing the tractor over there. That has a front loader on it, so I'll probably need that to do hay and straw for the horses. Not quite sure. I guess I'll see better when I get up there. I do have the letter in my back pocket just in case um, I forget what I need to do or if I get kind of lost. Uh, I'll have the letter in the back pocket with a map. Don't want to run into a light pole. That would be a bad thing to do the first hour on a farm somewhere. Alright, so he says, yeah, pretty much in the silo, not much of anything. Um, a good amount of oats, I guess. I mean, he's actually got a lot more than I harvested and gave him last week. I mean, how many horses does he have up here? Um, the only thing I'm a little bit nervous on, he wants me to take a couple of horses out for a few minutes to uh, ride them around. I guess he's training them on up, so i got to ride some horses around for a while. I guess I'm okay with that. Uh, I don't know how well I ride horses, but I guess I'll find out pretty darn soon. So apparently if I come up through these two buildings according to the map and come up through here I'm going to find a whole bunch of pens and apparently the horse pen is like the last. I get up here and just go straight through the horses will be on the right hand side. Uh, if it gets too confusing, well just look for the horses inside of a pasture for sure. It doesn't have no equipment up here, but uh, I do see a couple pens. Nothing in that one. That one looks like it's for chickens. I would say that one's for pigs. I think the one on the left, that'd be for, for cows. Oh, we got something. Oh, he's got some sheep here. I don't think the sheep have any feed. Do they have any water either? You didn't mention anything about the sheep. Uh, what about the horses here? What are the, well, How are they doing? Uh, they got a little bit of feed left. Well, I don't know how many oats they're going to take, but we'll go ahead and dump that on in. So 
So he's got four horses here. Well, they didn't take the full trailer, so that's good. So they're full of notes. Uh, this should be easy enough. Apparently, just turn it on here, and it fills up with some water. Now, they weren't out of water, but they were kind of a little bit low. So now it's got to do hay and straw, which would require the other tractor with the front loader on it. He, he did say make sure in the letter to top them off with food all the way with everything. So better make sure they get the hay and the straw. Um, but I'm a little concerned about the sheep down here. I don't see no feed. Well, there's the bale shredder. He said the bale shredder would be up here and the bales that we need should be up here as well. I am... Let me just come out here and look at these... Uh, I mean, yeah, the sheep don't have no feed whatsoever. All right, they do have some water in here, but I, I didn't say anything but take care of this. I hope he doesn't mind. I hope they're, I mean, I can't see why it would be a bad thing to top off the sheep with some water. And I think I will give them, I'll make sure the horses are taken care of first. But I mean, it looks like there should be plenty of bells there. Then I'll give the sheep some feed as well. Maybe they're not supposed, maybe they're not feeding them right now. I don't know. I'll feed them anyways, because, uh, I mean, as far as I know, there's no one here, and I don't know when someone else will be here, so I think I'd rather just top off the sheep with a little bit of feed. I don't want to leave here without feeding the sheep. I mean, by the looks of things, no one's been here for a couple days, because look at the horses, the feed was kind of low, like halfway, so I would say no one's been here for like five days. I don't know. But the sheep are out of feed. I... I I'll, yeah, I'm going to take care of them. I don't... I don't know. I mean, didn't say nothing in the letter. Maybe they forgot about it. I'm not sure. Let's go put the rest of these oats in back into the silo. And then we'll take out the other tractor. I don't know what kind of brand tractors. I haven't been over... I mean, I haven't been anywhere, really. I'm just trying to get this job done. So... Uh, I could get back to my farm and get back to work. After we got the mower the other day. I did sleep pretty well last night. Like I said, I, I wasn't feeling pretty good yesterday. Drank a lot of fluids when I got back. Um, the pizza, I had a little bit of that. Still some of it left. Uh, I didn't want to eat too much. I mean, I was hungry, but not, you know, just ravaging everything that was inside that refrigerator. And I slept pretty darn good. And I drank a good amount of fluids this morning, so... Hopefully everything is okay. Let's go ahead and drop that off there. Park this back on up. Yeah, they didn't really say anything. I mean, it's not, it doesn't seem like there's that big equipment like there was on the other farm a couple weeks ago. Nice looking little tractor here. Probably should let it warm up a little bit before I go, but it, it is kind of warm here. Warm and dry. Let's unfold that bale spike. So I'll do the hay first. Like I said, we'll make sure the horses are topped off first of all because um, that's what I'm really here for. And of course, any leftover hay, I'm bringing over to the sheep. I mean, they look like they're in okay shape, but who the heck knows? So here's one bale. I don't know how much the horses are going to take. Four horses. I don't know. I think the trough can hold about 10 days worth of feed. And there's one bale. Maybe I should say it this way. If, I, if they take all but one bale, the last bale will be at least given to the sheep. And they can fight over who gets uh, the hay then.
But I'm supposed to take the, a couple of these horses for a ride. Um, he gave me the name of two of them. Well, let me say, but he gave me the name of one of them. And the other one does not have a name, so... I guess there's a chart on the stable uh, with their names on it. I guess three of the horses are owned and one isn't, so that's why there's no name for that horse. Alright, so this is the third bail I've given the horses. Alright, so they are taking a lot more hay than I thought they would. He said there would be enough feed here for him. I'm not sure about that. So hopefully this does it because that last bale I'm giving to the sheep. Well, okay. That that answers my question. Let's see how the feed trough looks on the sheep when I drop it on in there. They may get both bales anyways, whatever's left of this one and, and that one in there. Uh, can you just... There we go. That looks pretty darn good. I think I'll leave it like that, because he didn't tell me to feed the sheep, but I do want to leave at least one of the bales here, because I... No. They may need that for something when they get back. An emergency bale or whatever. Well, the one thing that this actually does, is kind of like good timing. I'm taking care of these... Uh, well, that's not backing up good at all. Uh, good thing about coming here and taking care of the horses and now the sheep. Um, I'm getting ready to have my own animals, so it's kind of uh, making me prepare for uh, my livestock. Probably shouldn't have hooked up the PTO because now i got to unhook it anyways. So I can grab a straw bale. And that way the horses will have some good bedding. But although we're not going to have horses... Eh, I shouldn't say that, you know. I, I may put horses on, on that farm at some point. i got plenty of area to ride around in. It might be good for transportation once in a while. I could, like, ride the horse around from, from uh, stable to... Not stable to stable, pasture to pasture check on the animals. I'm not going to ride the horse around all day. Plus, it might give me someone to talk to. That should be good. Alright, let's go give the horses some straw. I think right here would be a good area to put the straw in, all the horses are kind of on the other side. And I guess I'll leave the straw bale in there. Um, I don't know how to really take it on out, so I think I'll just leave it in there. Yeah, he didn't really give me much of a map of the area, just the area for the animal pens and the main farm and kind of like circled where most of the stuff was going to be. So it's not like I have a whole map of the joint. Alright, so I'm going to pull this out, turn the engine off here. Alright, let's come over here. So... Yeah, um, 
So it's Elvis and No Name is what I'm taking for a ride. For a ride. Uh, so Elvis uh, is that one, and No Name is that one. All right. All right. So Elvis uh, will take for a ride first. Um, there's not multiple colors, are there? So it'd be easy to identify which one is which. All right. Um, I'll leave that open. Uh, there's no saddle, so I guess I'm just going to hop on here like this. Just trying to get used to riding a horse here. Mosey him on out of the stable, then I'll shut the gate behind me. Although, well, I think the horses probably are athletic enough to jump over these gates anyways. Alright, let's go ahead and shut the gate. Alright, finally Elvis decided to come on out of the gate. Let's take him up for a little trot here. I don't want to go too far because I don't want to get lost because it looks like a lot of nothing out here. Almost like the farm. This 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 farm owner seems like to have farms in the middle of nowhere. But we'll give him a good trot. The horse, I don't know. Elvis might be thinking, man, I just got water, hay, and oats, and now you're taking me away. As for the other two horses, I guess I'm not supposed to be taking them out. Or I, I mean, I could. Oh, there is a farm field down here. Not seeing much of anyone around. I don't see no cars going by either. Let's give him a good good run here. Now he's warmed up. Some interesting things around here. That's one thing I did not expect to see. I'm not even going to ask. I'm not even going to ask. About the greenest area I've seen since I've been here. Elvis doesn't seem too impressed though. Nice little grass field. Although the horses, I guess they prefer hay, don't they? Alright, I think it's time to get Elvis on back. Time to get back, I think uh, he'll be... I mean, it's kind of a hot day. I don't want him to stress him too much. I don't know how much stress they can take. Or if it's stress or not, I'm not sure. But, um... He said just ride him around for about five minutes, so... It's not going to be too difficult to do that. That's for sure. Well, I think Elvis has had his training for the day. Stay right there and open on up. Hopefully you like going through the gate a little bit more this time. Let's get behind here and close the gate. Now that Elvis is standing still. Give him a good clean. There. He, he looks kind of happy now. Alright, so which one was no name? Uh, need to go back to the chart. Alright, uh, so that's Elvis. Uh, so the light brown one? I do believe... I'm not sure, but Elvis may want to go back out for a trot. I'm not sure. There we go. Horses like to run around on you.
All right, no name. Let's go for a five-minute trot. Get your exercise in. And then technically my job on this farm is done. Um, he didn't really say what time he's going to reopen the portal, so I'm just going to go on back to the farm and maybe I'll raid the refrigerator or something. I don't know. Actually, I've already gone this way with Elvis, so I'm going to go this way with no name and see uh, see if I run into anything. Well, I don't want to run into anything. Just I just want to trot. Nice little log cabin out here in the middle of nowhere. I've been through the desert on a horse with no name. It's kind of a shame that no one uh, actually owns this horse because, you know, it rides very well. Uh, nothing wrong with Elvis either, but for some reason, uh, no name in me. I don't know. Yeah, you, did you like that? Did you have fun? I had a blast. Uh, is that two, two stomps for, for yes? Or is it, I have no idea. Me either. Um, well, okay, I don't know if that's yes or no. Uh, let me put you back in the stable. So you can uh, cool down a little bit. Go ahead and close that on up. Give me a good clean. There you go. Well, you don't have to push me over. Now you can have a drink of water, your oats and hay. Have a whole bunch of fun. I mean, yeah, these horses could jump over this fence, no problem, but must be well enough trained. Uh, let me just make sure that uh, it's full of water. Yep. They're all set. As for the sheep, like I said, I, I don't know. Um, they had no food when I got here, so... Uh, they're not full of food, but they should have enough in there for a while, I would hope. And uh, they got plenty of water as well. Uh, you're welcome, I think. I'm, you know, maybe they weren't supposed to eat today. I'm not sure. All right, time to bring the tractor back to the farm and... Um, yeah, I, I guess uh, wait for me to, for the portal to open. Maybe I'll, I'll go to the house a little bit and see if they got anything in the refrigerator. Although, if no one's been here for a while, I'm not sure if I want to eat anything in that refrigerator anyways. It might be spoiled. Well, at least they had some fresh water on top of the refrigerator, so I had a couple quick uh, glasses of that. That feels rather refreshing. It's kind of weird. Uh, th this farm, they got surfboards in here, but it doesn't look like an area that does a lot of... A lot of areas we can surf. Have no idea. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. Um, do I just come in here and just... I don't know, honk the horn. Maybe get someone's attention. Like, um, okay, now what do I do? I don't feel like sitting out in the sun sunning myself. Well, this has been sitting here on the tailgate of the truck. It's been a while. Um... Maybe about 15 minutes or so. Just honking the horn. Just just uh, waiting for my time. Well, at least the horses are taken care of. The sheep are taken care of. Now I just need to go back to my farm. And uh, yeah, I don't know what time it will be when I get back there. My tablet's not really working here. So I don't really know what time it is. Or how much money this farm has. Whoop, there's my sound. There's our cue. There's the portal. Let's go. And once again, I'm through. Turn around. I never can see the back side of the portal. It always closes before I can turn around quick enough. Uh, okay. Uh, at least I am back home. I know that much. I know where I am. Uh, does my tablet work here? It does. It's 5.30 in the evening. Uh, my money's gone up a little bit today. So have the crops a little bit. Uh, we got weeds everywhere. Probably the best thing to do after going through the portal. I, I do, hmm. Let me grab the tractor. Run on down see what our uh, canola field. Yeah, I'm planting canola. If that is ready for fertilization, I may do that this evening. And that would be it. Because uh, that's all the work I have left to do. Zip on down and see what that field's up to. 
these three fields up here should all be in the same sequence. They don't need to be fertilized at all. Um, weeding, of course, yeah, I know. One of these days. But, like before, when I went to the other farm and did um, hay pellets, I mean, he did compensate me by furnishing the inside of our, of our home. Which is technically kind of his home. But, I mean, he, he did furnish it rather well. So maybe I'll get compensated for taking care of the horses. Um, no, the field's still growing in that odd shape. Not odd shape, but odd way. Uh, it's full of weeds, I can see that. Uh, but the crop, yeah, yeah I, need, I need the field to be in stage one of growth before I can go ahead and seed it. I yeah, definitely need to make some roads around here so I can start finding my way through the trees a little bit better. Here we go. Nice little opening. I guess I could go down to the store and see if my concrete's in, but I don't know if I have the energy to lift that. Well, I don't know. The money has not gone down. Usually when the store completes a transaction, the money goes down. The money is still hasn't moved, so maybe the concrete didn't arrive. Uh, probably the best thing to do since it's 5.30 and I really... I just had a little bit to eat this morning and something to drink and only something to drink at the other farm. I should probably go into the house and have something to eat and drink and then check on my tablet to see um, if the status on the order says completed or what have you. I don't know. Because I would like to get started in the bunker silo so I can start putting my mower and loading wagon to use and start compacting it, get some silage, all that fun stuff. But I'm going to go to the cabin, make some dinner, check on the status of the concrete order, and maybe just relax the rest of the day on uh, the wonderful dock out here on the pond.